Everyone come in, come in again. We're going to utilise the space of the two badminton courts. Okay? White lines for two badminton courts. That's the space that we can utilise. Can't go outside those areas. What I would like you to do, in your head, without indicating, without saying the person's name, I want you to pick someone. It doesn't have to be someone from over the side. Be anyone. So pick one person in your mind. Just randomly pick them. Everyone got a first person? Okay, that person is your attacker. Okay? They're your attacker. I want you to now pick a different person. Again, don't indicate who it is. Pick a second person. Make sure you're real clear who your two people are. Everyone got two people? Your second person is your bodyguard. What you need to do is try and keep your bodyguard between you and your attacker at all times. So if I had Bossy was my attacker, Gina. Gina was my bodyguard, I would move until I had a line here. My bodyguard is protecting me from my attacker. If Bossy was to move, I'm going to try and move to keep that same thing. Any questions so far? Mem remember, the, remember, remember the boundaries? When you hear the whistle, you're going to come into a freeze and see who's actually still being blocked. Really? Well, you don't have to try and attack them. You just, all your, your sole job is to keep your body down between you and your attacker. Ready? Go! Fun game warms them up. This one, um, for me, I guess it's a case of it's, it's being aware of what else is going on. Okay, you might have one person in mind, but your second person's here, so you're, you're, you're constantly tracking what's going on. Again, a key thing with, when it comes to sport is trying to figure out where the positioning of everybody else is. So there is good reasoning for doing these games, not just the hey, let's have a bit of fun and going around. So getting them to think about it, spatial awareness, how they how they act. Okay, um, this one we're going to use, I want everyone to come and line up on halfway. Spread out enough so that we can come into the 
Okay. I'm going to ask you a series of questions. So the, the module that we're going to go about to do, we're going to go into volleyball after. Okay? So I'm going to ask you true or false questions about volleyball. If you think the answer is true, you are going to jog down to the baseline. If you think it's false, you're going to jog down to the opposite baseline. True, this end. False, that end. Okay? First question. Your team is allowed to hit the ball a maximum of three times in a row. Thank you. 